I've made some window wall covers out of PVC pipe and polycarbonate. I had been buying the plastic window covers at my local hardware store and I found out that they didn't last very long before they broke and it seemed that I was constantly replacing them and they were costing me a small fortune. I looked for a higher quality replacement and I couldn't find anything at a reasonable price so I decided that I would make my own. Here's a cover that I made. It's been outside for almost two years. I'll clean it up with a sponge and a little bit of soap and water and if you stick around for the end of the video I'll show you how it cleans up. I found all the materials that I needed at my local hardware store. I bought some sheets of polycarbonate. You'll find those in the roofing section. They come in 12 feet by 26 inch sheets and 8 feet by 26 inch sheets. There's a few different varieties but you want to find the polycarbonate type and that is rated for 270 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the last time I checked the manufacturer's website, there was a lifetime warranty on this product. A few things about polycarbonate. Uh, it's very flexible. It's virtually unbreakable. It's the same material that they use to make bulletproof glass. It won't break down in the sun and it'll stay clear and won't cloud over. I used half inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe and the fittings that go with that. Uh, this particular cover uh, I just needed a T and four side outlet elbows. For the hardware I used number eight three quarter inch lath screws and number eight half inch outer diameter bonded neoprene washers. It's important to cut the PVC pipe precisely. If you are not accurate in your cutting and the pipes are uneven, you won't get a square frame and if your frame is not square the polycarbonate won't line up on top of the frame. I purchased a pair of cutters that ratchet. Those did the nicest job and did a really clean and precise cut. I used a grease pencil to mark the spot where I wanted to cut my polycarbonate That worked out well because I was able to just rub the grease pencil off after I finished my cut and that way I didn't have any kind of markings on my polycarbonate. To cut the polycarbonate I just used a pair of tin snips. The holes in the polycarbonate have to be 2 16th to 3 16th of an inch larger than the diameter of the screws you're using. That's to allow for expansion and contraction when you have temperature change. And I found the best thing to do to accomplish that was to clamp the polycarbonate down onto your frame and drill your holes through the PVC the size to fit the screws and then remove the polycarbonate and drill those out to the larger size. That way everything will line up when you go to fasten the polycarbonate to the frame. My thoughts for fastening them would be either to uh, pound a dowel of some type into the ground if uh, your cover is over a flower bed and then just set the cover on top of it. You can do that in you know, a couple of the corners. 
or the other thought is is take some sort of R clamp and put it clip it on the edge of the well and then you could run uh, a few wire ties around uh, the underside of the clamp and around the uh, frame of the cover to secure it. That way you could just easily you know, cut the wire ties to remove it if you needed to and then just reinstall it. I've cleaned up the cover that I showed you in the beginning of the video and you can see it looks like brand new. It's been outside for almost two years now in Pennsylvania weather. Uh, we get the cold winters, snow, icicles, and in the summer we get very warm weather. So I'm very pleased with how these covers are holding up and I think they'll hold up for at least 15 years, maybe 20. Uh, the thing that I think might fail quickest would be the PVC 